Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm going to show you a new way that I do my seeds. Pencil boxes. You've probably seen the video in the plastic bags. Though there's nothing wrong with it, it's perfectly fine. But I have found this to be much more economical. These only cost a dollar. These are made by Sterilite and they're made in the USA and they're good plastic. So I really like these. You can also get these at dollar stores. Look around, it's a pencil box and it snaps shut. And now you can put layers of seeds. I'll show you in a second exactly how easy it is to do. So with a pencil box, you can grow multiple types of seeds at one time and then take out what you need. That's what makes it so great. And on top of that, see how they stack? You can put this anywhere and just stack them and they lock really, really nice like that. So you could have like 10 and start, you know, in each one. Now this is not for a big farm. You had a big farm, you're gonna do it differently. But if you're a backyard gardener, whether it's on a deck, a small garden, or even a big garden, an acre or two, you wanna start specific seeds. And sometimes you just wanna test your seeds. And that's why a lot of us do it in plastic bags to see what the percentage is and are the seeds good? Because if you plant them, you don't know what's gonna come up. But when you do it this way, you actually get them started in here. Then you take the little one that's just starting with a little root, just starting to grow, and you pop them in, whether it's a container like this, I did my eggplants in here, see I popped them in here, or whether it's another container. But you know what seeds are alive, you know what's gonna come up, and that's what makes it easy. Let's go inside and let me show you how I set these up, and then we'll come back. So I have found this to be the easiest way to start seeds for me. This is a pencil box. I get them at Walmart, you can get them at dollar stores, but it just so happens Walmart is cheaper. They have them for like a dollar and that's all there is to it. And they're made in the United States. They're good plastic and they come in a couple different colors. Color won't matter to start the seeds in. I really like them because see the little legs on the bottom, the little feet, they snap and lock together. So if you're gonna start multiple types of seeds, they just stack beautifully. So I have found this really convenient. This has been really great. Now I use bubble wrap, plastic bags, whatever you have, on hand that maybe came in something you ordered, the, you know, the shipping envelopes. I cut them to fit these pencil boxes. So I cut a whole bunch, so you don't have to trash those bags, you'll use them to start your seeds. You can even have a whole bunch cut and store them in one of the pencil boxes so you're ready to have what you need. I'll lay one on the bottom, and then all you have to do is take a paper towel. Now, with this method, you're only gonna need a half a piece, just the piece that's folded. If you wanna use more, you can, but I have found all you need is one simple piece of paper towel folded in half. So I get to cut this and have it for another set of seats. This helps save on paper towels and money, and you're using less product to get your seeds started. Because as a lot of you know, I use the plastic bag method as well, but then you use a whole piece and you have to roll it up. So this saves on paper towels. Now you just lay it in there and you select the seeds that you wanna start. Just a hint, you if you can tear the top of your seeds open, that's perfect, but later on you'll see if you can't cut from the bottom so you always know what's in the package. Otherwise you'll cut the top off and you won't know what's in there. These plastic discs here are just tops of food containers. I keep those and I cut them in four here because I only need a small piece. And what I'm gonna do is use that as my labels. This is very important, so you're gonna watch this in a few seconds. Now here you just take the name of whatever you're planting, write down the name and then write down the date you put it in here. I have found labeling and dating is very important because as much as we think we're gonna remember, we don't. Now see where I'm putting the label? And I did use a Sharpie pen. I'm putting the label between the sandwiched paper towel. See where I'm folding it? Now all you have to do is wet the paper towel with a little bit of water. You could do it before if you want and then put the seeds in, but I like doing it this way. It's easier and quicker. If you should put too much water in there, it's very easy to tip it and drain it out. Now see that? Now the reason I like putting that plastic label for the seeds on the inside between the sandwich paper towel is because when you pull the paper apart, when it's sandwiched and it's wet, it will lift up easy. Otherwise, if you just sandwich it, you're kind of fighting with it a little bit 
as you pull it apart to check on your seats. This makes it much easier and better to check your seats. Now you can continue in this one pencil box with other seats. This is why I love this technique so much. This way I can start five, six, seven different types of seeds in one container. I can go back and it's easy to lift, easy to check to see which ones have sprouted. And when you go to plant your seeds, you know what's growing. So you're not waiting for seeds that may never come up and haven't germinated when you plant them directly outside or a container in the soil. This way, you're gonna start with seeds that have a tail, they have a root, and they're ready to plant, and you know what's going to grow. Of course, sometimes one may not make it here and there, but you know what? Once they start and you put them in the soil, you usually get about 98% of those seeds growing and doing well. Now, just for a comparison, this is how I do it in the plastic bag method. I use a whole piece of paper towel, and I put my seeds in there, and I roll it and wet it, and then I store it in a plastic bag. The reason I use cardboard is to protect the roots and the seeds, and this keeps it nice and straight, and then I label it. But I usually only put one set of seeds per bag. So I have found using a pencil box has been much more efficient because I can get a whole lot more done in one spot, and if I did want to start a whole bunch of different types, I can have a few pencil boxes stacked and ready to go. See how I can pick out the seeds that I want here to grow? I know they're good, I know they're growing, and now it's a matter of time to put them in their new home so I'll have food for ourselves pretty soon. Isn't that cool and isn't this easy? Now I just gently pick up the seeds, put them in the container, one seed per hole, and it makes it so much easier and I know exactly where they're going to come up I have them perfectly spaced, and before I know it, in a matter of days, I have little plants popping up and turning into food. This has just been the easiest way to do it, and I know what's gonna grow. Once I've got them all in the container, I cover them with a little bit of cardboard for a day or two, just to make sure the water is held there good and gives the seeds a chance to stay damp until they're ready to pop out of the soil. And now you've got them all perfectly spaced. So I hope you've gotten an idea on maybe this method will work for you. You'll have them for years. You buy them once, you'll have them for the next decade or two. They're perfect to start your seeds in. They lock up and hold the moisture inside so it stays nice and damp for the seeds. You can put it near a window, not in direct sunlight when you're starting seeds but close to a window or in a warm spot or on top of your refrigerator. I've got some sitting on top of the fridge because it generates a little bit of heat. And then when they're ready to plant, you put them either outside, you can put them in your containers, you can put them in your dish pans, your totes, whatever, but you know they're alive. And they're just, there's so many things you can do with it. That's a different video. We'll get into that in another time. You can even grow microgreens in here. So I hope I've given you some ideas on how to start seeds in an economical way that you won't have to throw plastic bags away after you use them. So just wash these out and use them. Pass them down as it, the generations can use them and tell them it's an heirloom and it's been to, never mind. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. An heirloom? I don't know. I pop them in paper cups, my little Dixie cups, and then these go, cup it all, out into the totes or the garden. So here are those exact seeds you saw me plant. It was on the 12th, and this is the 16th, four days later. So let's take a peek. Now the radishes, oh boy, they're too big. I've still planted them that way, and I've had great success, but... You better check your radishes by the second day. They really sprout quick. Now, this is a zucchini. And yes, it's hard to see, but a couple of them in there already have some tails. So those will be planted probably in Dixie cups and moved out when I know my weather is warm enough, which is probably just going to be in the next week or two. So the zucchini did okay, but keep in mind, a lot of them will come up later. So I'm going to leave them because they may be slower to germinate. So the other two still may germinate. Now these are the beans and they started as well. Look at that. 
So I can either pop them straight outside or in a Dixie cup, but I wanted to show you the results in four days. Isn't that cool? Now I can plant what I want right now.